have a 200,000 spare cash in the savings account. The inflation rate is 8.5% right now, and my banking interest rate is 1.9%. So, I'm thinking about investing somewhere, rather than park my money in the savings account. How about real estate? Of course, 200,000 is far less from buying a property, but is there any way I can invest? Hello guys, I'm Melissandra. In today's video, we will take a look at different types of real estate investment. In my previous video, 5 ways how rich people make money with debt, there is a dude comment that it is very bad advice to invest under high interest. So for this gentleman, listen, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not a financial advice. I share with you what I found based on my research and statistic. It depends on you decide how to do and what to do according to the market right now. Okay, let's get back to today's topic. Investment in real estate include apartment rentals, REITs, commercial real estate, land and crowdfunding platforms. Real estate can be invested in a variety of ways. But most are divided in two types. Physical investments such as land, residential and commercial properties, and investments that do not require physical ownership. A traditional physical investment can produce high returns, but it also requires more money upfront and can be costly over time. Due to their lower financial barriers, REITs and crowdfunding platforms allow you to invest in multiple types of real estate for a fraction of the cost of investing in just one traditional property. The advantage of these alternative investments over traditional ones is that you don't need to leave the house to invest and you don't have to put on pants. I have done my research. Here are five types of real estate if you are looking to invest. 1. REITs Commercial real estate is owned by publicly traded REITs. These companies are traded on stock exchanges. If you invest in REITs, you own the real estate these companies own without many of the risks that come with owning real estate directly. Shareholders of REITs are entitled to receive at least 90% of their taxable income each year. In addition to receiving attractive dividends, investors can diversify their portfolios by investing in real estate. Unlike other real estate investments, public REITs offer a higher degree of liquidity if you suddenly need money, the stock exchange lets you sell your shares. Investing in publicly traded REITs can be done through a brokerage account. 2. Crowdfunding platforms Investing in real estate through crowdfunding platforms can bring high returns, but they are also accompanied by significant risk. A crowdfunding platform may only accept accredited investors who are defined as individuals with a net worth of more than $1 million, excluding the value of their home or an annual income of more than $200,000 in the last two years. However, some platforms, such as Fundrise and Realty Mogul, allow investors who don't meet those minimums to invest in investments they otherwise wouldn't be able to. Non-traded REITs or REITs that are not traded on stock exchanges are commonly used for these investments. In addition to not being publicly traded, non-traded REITs are also highly illiquid, so they may require you to hold your investment for several years before you can withdraw the funds. It is important to remember that many crowdfunding platforms are new and have not yet weathered an economic downturn. 3. Residential Real Estate There are many types of residential real estate, including single-family homes, condos, and vacation homes. The primary method by which residential real estate investors make money is by collecting rent from property tenants, by accumulating appreciation on their property between the time they purchase and when they sell it, or by a combination of both. There are many ways to invest in residential real estate. Renting a spare room or flipping a house for a profit can be as simple or as complicated as you want. 4. Commercial real estate The commercial property market consists of the rental or lease of space by a business. Commercial real estate includes office buildings, gas stations, strip malls with several unique businesses, and restaurants leased by businesses. Businesses would pay rent to the property owner unless they own the property themselves. 
Real estate in the industrial and retail sectors can be categorized as commercial. The term industrial real estate generally refers to properties that make or house products rather than sell them, like factories and warehouses. Clothing stores, for example, provide a place where customers can purchase products. A commercial property's leases are often longer and can command a higher rent than a residential properties, which may result in a greater and more steady income for the owner in the long run. It may also be necessary to make higher down payments payments and pay more for property management. 5. Raw land. Is there a chance they will come if you build it? Land is typically bought by investors for the purpose of developing either commercially or residentially. You will need to conduct extensive market research if you intend to develop the property yourself. Someone with a significant amount of capital to invest and a thorough understanding of local residential and commercial rental markets, as well as a strong understanding of all things real estate, is best suited to make this type of investment. How do you choose the right real estate investment? Doing your due diligence when investing in traditional real estate, such as residential or commercial properties, doesn't just mean putting down a deposit. It is important to know your local market. It's easy for that investment to turn into a burden if there isn't much demand for homes or commercial space in your area, or if property values drop. Adding real estate to your portfolio without owning physical property is easier with REITs and crowdfunding platforms. Adding real estate to your portfolio without owning physical property is easier with rates and crowdfunding platforms. There are some brokerages that offer publicly traded rates or multiple funds that invest in rates. Ok guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more future updates. I will see you soon.